before we talk about that why did this name come into picture and uh, let me give you a small uh, uh, brief about that uh, they wrote a book, a book called as let me read out the name for you it was called as riv pyramidinal it's a swedish some european language he wrote that but when you literally translate it in english it is tear down the pyramids is what he says which means pyramids He's not talking about the top of the pyramid he's giving empowerment to people down the line that's what he's talking about and then later that was full of stuff especially with respect to customer centricity and this was translated to english by one mr harper perennial in the year 1982 in a book called as moment of truth let me quickly explain to you what is moment of truth <coughs> Moment of truth is, for example, what is a moment? A moment is a second. A moment is one second is a moment, right? On an average, when the customer gets in touch with the airline for the first time, in the sense for a particular trip, travel from point A to point B, between the time he comes into first contact with the airline and the last point of contact for that particular trip, point B, reaches point p and then he moves out normally if you calculate the average it's around 10 days because generally we can hope people book before 10 days right now in 10 days how many seconds how many moments are there so a day has 60 seconds right a minute has sorry a minute has 60 seconds an hour has 60 minutes and a day has 34 minutes 10 days so which is typically let me calculate it for you it is 60 multiplied by 60 multiplied by 24 multiplied by 10 works out to approximately 8,64,000 seconds total of 8,64,000 seconds between the time the guy comes in contact with the airline in the form of making a booking and the guy leaving the aircraft right leaving the aircraft leaving the airport and moving out Dan Carlson told his employees that each employee comes into contact for a very short time. For example, when you go to the airline, it takes approximately two, three, maybe five, ten seconds with the boarding card person and then probably a few seconds, 10, 15 seconds at the boarding gate. And then when you get onto the bus, there is a guy who welcomes you at the bus, another two seconds, three seconds interaction. Then you get on the plane, there's an arrow hostess who wish you one two seconds of interaction then uh, food meal served maybe a few seconds 15 20 seconds approximately 25 seconds a total of approximately 60 seconds with each customer so out of this whole experience of uh, you know uh, uh, th this thing your flight travel you come in contact with a person for maximum 60 seconds 60 seconds not more than that otherwise you have that experience the aeroplanes sitting that is different i'm talking about a human being to human being interaction touch point all he said was in that those employee trainings customer centricity training the employees were told in fact they were sensitized change of mindset because to do those things well you need two things one is mindset and second is skill set mindset in terms of attitude and skill set in terms of how efficiently you carry out and that's where competence comes into picture and typically when you talk about competence competence has three aspects one is your knowledge second is your ability that is your knowledge second is your skills or the ability and third is the attitude three things have to be there even if one is absent then competence doesn't come into picture it's something like fire for any fire to take place three things are required oxygen is required heat is required and some material is required even if one is absent there is no fire likewise in competence all the three should be present you should know the knowledge knowledge of what you need to do second is skill skill is in terms of how you put your knowledge into practice and then finally the attitude part of it your mindset i have the knowledge i have the skills but i'm willing to put because if you don't have that mindset, your knowledge and skill is going to be of no use. This was what was sensitized to every single employee in the company. And everybody was given this responsibility because if an airline has to be revived, of course, the management will do its job in terms of flight routes, in terms of 
you know, uh, refurbishing airplanes, your seats, your systems, your product, you know, your sales promotion activities, your advertisement, whole lot of other things need to be done. But employees were told, you don't have to bother about that. Leave it to the wisdom of the management to do those things. And be confident, have this confidence that the management will do a good thing for you. Since Don Carlson was at the helm of affairs, he said, you have a small role to perform with your customer. For example, if you are in the boarding gate, your job is just to take the ticket from the customer, which involves just one or two seconds. Innovate, create for yourself. Those two seconds, how best you can make it memorable for the customer. Employees were sensitized in this aspect. And everybody worked for uh, the progress of that organization, for the profits. Every employee in the company, they worked uh, keeping in mind the spirit of customer excellence. And of course, the management kept doing all these uh, in-flight announcement, your food, your pricings, your promotion, all that management kept doing. Every piece performed their job perfectly well. And uh, this climate, this culture of it, responsibility spread throughout the organization. The culture of responsibility, which was one of the reasons why this company came back into black within a very, very short period of two years. And uh, there, there are reports that some expat is going to come and lead this uh, Tata Airlines. We are not very sure. The board is meeting. The jury is out on that. Not everything is out. But let us see how well Tata is able to revive this company. And personally speaking, I have my own hopes. I have my own confidence that Tata will do a great job. And we will see this airlines getting revived. Privatization is getting a boost. Government is doing a great job. A lot of things are on the anvil. LIC, Bharat Petroleum, Nilanchal is part. There was a news today about privatization. Let's see what is happening. That will also be on the sales block. And all that is extremely important for the growth of the economy. Like the government has always been saying, the government should be out of the business of business. Let private, let people who are good at running the businesses, let them run the businesses. Let the government focus its job towards governing this country okay guys that's my personal view there's a lot lots and lots of uh, uh, other videos are in stake i'm going to come out with a complete detailed analysis of gdp expectations from gdp what the government is going to come up come out what we can expect from the budget please subscribe to this uh, uh, channel do press the button uh, and that's it and keep getting my videos very much and this is Dr. Sadashimo signing off till we meet again in the next video. Bye bye.